So how do you know that this business idea that you're having is actually a good idea? I mean, good can mean many things. It can mean that it's a very unique idea. It can mean that you enhance performance with it. It can mean that you reduce costs or that it has a social or envi an environmental impact. Um, but ultimately, uh, a good idea is, a, is an idea that is actually useful. So you need to understand the problem. There must be a problem behind that you're actually solving with your idea. Um, and in terms of entrepreneurship, um, a good idea is always a good business idea. So you need to have a target audience who's actually willing to, to buy your idea, to pay for, for the solution or the product that you're offering. Um, and you can evaluate this, this commercial potential um, by seeing what kind of value are, you are creating. Like, is there like some kind of automation, like process automation, for example, or you're making it possible to, to have more accurate results in the end. So what actual value are you creating? And um, is there a target audience that has a use case that's actually willing to pay for it? So if you want to evaluate if your business idea is actually good, then you first need to uh, see if it's really useful, if you are actually solving a problem with it. And secondly, if, you're, if you have a target audience that's actually willing to pay for it. Well, once you can confirm that your idea is really good, you can then focus on the wants, needs and demands of your target customer group. What are their what are their desires? What are their wishes? In order to find out, you have to focus on them, examining um, their behavior in work or life. You do this by postulating assumptions or hypotheses first, and then you examine, as I said, your target customers, for example, through observation, or you talk to them, you have a questionnaire, or you, you conduct interviews in order to get their direct responses and information that are required in order to shape your idea, to concrete it towards their actual uh, wants and needs. Once you have this, and equally important to this, is the innovative element of your idea. So once you know it's good, and once you have understood what your customers want, you have to check whether you're truly unique in what you're doing, or are you just the next thing that already exists in terms of uh, being too similar to existing tech in the state of the art or doing in a very similar way what others do already. You have to analyze and research your competitive set to find your niche of market and also of your product configuration um, that, can, that can really bring value and where you can grow and prosper. With having all those answers, to the questions that we have asked so far, you're perfectly set to take the next steps. So now you found a business idea that's actually good, that's actually useful. Uh, and what do you do now to turn this idea into reality? So one of the most important things when you want to turn an idea into reality is to have a good team behind. And a good team is composed of different skills, of different know-hows, of different expertise and experiences that you bring in. So ideally you have a very diverse and complementary team that work like that brings in all the skills that you need to make this idea uh, turn into reality. And the other important thing that you need or that you can benefit a lot from is a network, a good network and a good ecosystem that you're embedded in. And that's where we come in at TUM and also as a startup consultancy, uh, because we provide you help or we provide you support from the very early stage, from the ideation phase to validation, testing, making a proper business planning and also uh, giving, giving you access to different funding options. Protecting your ideas from others is really important if you want to keep an edge in future. So on the one hand, you should talk to your peers and industry partners about your idea because you might gain valuable insights and feedbacks. On the other hand, it's really risky because you might actually give somebody else your idea and they could copy you. So what should you do now? You should, when you talk to somebody, you should take into consideration who you're talking to. Is the other person capable of 
copying and stealing your idea. If so, you might consider patenting your idea and thus creating intellectual property that belongs only to you. But make no mistake, patenting is no easy task. It takes a long time and a lot of money to actually get a patent. And for some startups, especially in software, patent may not be a solution at all. So most of the time for startups in software field, being fast, being good and being the first player in the market is more important than the sole patent. But if you're thinking about patenting your idea, at the TUM there is the Patents and Licensing Office you could talk to and get a consultation if your idea is patentable and if you can create a lasting protection for your intellectual property.